Hello everyone, welcome back to Monster Rancher Evo. In the last episode we had a bunch of plot and not a whole lot of movement otherwise. So hopefully that changes with this episode. Once we're done with this show, I think the people of Tochika will open up to us a little bit and then we will have our next assignment which will probably be some sort of dungeon. And luckily, Nukes is likely going to carry us the whole way in that one as well. Meanwhile, I'm missing badly with my, uh, with my clicks here. It's been a while since I've played. Have I talked about Brain Age before on the show? Believe it is relevant. So, there was a DS game called Brain Age, which supposedly... Uh, the tagline was, train your brain in minutes a day. And it had a bunch of mini games. and if you did the minigames, supposedly it would help your long-term memory, and all sorts of your attention and everything, you know? Here's the thing, though. It doesn't. And researchers found that playing the game repeatedly will help you get better at the games, but it will not actually help you get more brainy. Anyway... My point is, the reason that's relevant is I feel like I haven't been playing the mini games here enough, and I'm actually not getting better at these mini games, especially because it's been so long between recording sessions. Um, which makes uh, Albert's advice to practice the mini games rather uh, not important. Uh, I guess apropos, apropos, it's good advice to practice. Practice makes perfect. Um, so maybe, but if I do practice these games, I'll definitely do it off camera because no one wants to see me just dick around, even though that's basically the show at this point. That's fine. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with, uh, picking up cash. We've got plenty. I need to not be wasting my time here. Uh, that's still the hardest game for me. The the other... Where the, I'm like, where the hell's the green? Um, shit. See, I'm whiffing a lot of these. I don't know what's wrong with... With this particular minigame, I struggle with it. Great! Um, the one button press one... That is supposedly so hard, I find a lot easier than this. But, hey, I, I like interactive training, even if it is just a bunch of mini games. I could see how this would get really obnoxious uh, toward the end of a 40, 50 hour experience. But hey, I'm still enjoying it, so whatever. <laughs> Those lights are going to give someone some epilepsy. Oh, I see. Like, when he started that minigame, he only had to throw it over two pl two pl uh, panels, and now he had to do it over four because it's a level three trick now. I don't know if anybody cares. I'm just making conversation at this point. Luckily, I still remember the timing on that part of it, the second part, the slidey bit right here, um, that I have to flick the stick a split second before my brain tells me to. So, just because of the way it is. Game physics, baby. All right, boop, 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 boop. I love the fact that we're not done training nukes yet. Like, Nukes and Nightmare are not done yet, which is incredible. I'm, I'm, oh, my goodness, man, this game. I love it. We're training them to be so strong. All right, let's see if we can give Nukes another shot here. Try to get that 70 up a little bit. Like, Nukes is sort of my alpha dog right now. Um... I think he's our most powerful one. I think he's more powerful than, uh, the Nightmare. 
Like, they're a great one-two combo. If one goes down, then the other one can do the job quite easily. Obviously, we'd prefer to have them both, but... You know. I'm thinking I'm not gonna let, um, the tiger fight. Uh, which is bad because the tiger was named after Chibi Girl uh, in during the stream. I forget his name. I feel like an asshole. Uh, I'll look it up in just a second. But the tiger was named by Chibi Girl because she was super interested in having a tiger in the series. But, like, now he's a Generation 1, and everybody else is at least a Generation 2. I think I have a 1 Generation 3 at this point. So, like, it's... Let's see what his name is. Cerberus, yeah. But, like, so he's not very strong. It'd be really hard for him to get anywhere. I mean, we'd have to do the bodyguard system anyway, regardless. Um... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, unlock, unlock, yes! Um, we'd have to do the bodyguard system regardless, uh, and come in with nukes and nightmare, um, just to get him some experience points. Which might be for the best, that way we teach him some moves, if nothing else. But he's going to be so weak, he's not going to be able to fight at all, so, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about bringing him into the fight, into, into an adventure. Although, I suppose it can't hurt, because a lot of those experience points get passed on, too, during the DNA process, so... Oh, let's bring them along for the next one, shall we? Nukes, Nightmare, and Cerberus can do the adventure, whatever the adventure is going to be, and... We can move on from there. Still can't believe I got Dottie, man. It's really interesting. I haven't taken a good look at her. I still haven't read her book entry. Why do I keep forgetting to read book entries? You know, I wouldn't forget to read book entries if we could see the book during a meeting. Wait, we could! I can just tell Nayuda I want to breed from the book and then back out of it. Yeah, we, we're going to stick you on the end there, Baron Dottie. You stay the hell away from Nayuda as far as we can in this formation. Yay, good job, every- Kit was the MVP? Whoa, that is a load of intelligence she gained. And garbage defense, given that it was a defensive, uh, trick that we gave her. Holy crap. She would learn a butt-ton of intelligence if she was still with, um, uh, Marlene. Good god. Okay. Or did we give Kit to Marlene? Now, I, now I'm all messed up. I don't remember. I am all messed up. I hear you requested an audience with us. What can we do for you? You are pissed off. What were you thinking? Could you make that a little clearer? How dare you put on a circus at a time like this? We aren't supposed to have joy in this world. We can't just give up. We can't do- we can't just do nothing. There's still a chance. A chance, you say? What do you mean by that? The Gaia Stone. If we had the Gaia Stone, we might be able to go to the other world. That's right. When if we could get there, we might be able to stop them. Gaia Stone? I don't know who told you about that, but do you really expect us to pin our hopes on a legend? So you just want to give up all hope? Well, we won't do it. We have to try! Huh. <laughs> you failed before. What makes you think you'll do any better this time? It's true we failed, and that's why we have to do this. Don't you see? I think they're right. Yes, we can't just do nothing and wait for the war people to come and invade us. The High Priestess, Suzuka, <laughs> seem to have a number of people behind you. Very well! If it means that much to you, I may give you a chance to clear your names. Yay! But first, I must determine if you are truly worthy to be given a chance. I just spit all over myself in the microphone. How? You must show me your skills as monster trainers. I will choose three monster breeders from our village. They will be in the cave of Tukiyomi. You must defeat them all. Then bring me proof 
of your victory. If you can do that, your punishment will be postponed, and you may search for the stone. And I just plopped multiple times on the mic. Thank you. You won't regret this. And just, just never mind, I was making eyes at the, the high priestess there. At, you know what, I've said too much. I'm just going to go back to my tent. Alright, so... Let's see if that'll work. Let's see if I say... Create from book. And then I can read the book. What? Man. Fuck you, Nayuda. With a giant Baku deck. I'm sorry for that visual. Alright, um... Let's see if we can find the book entry for... Uh, oh, passed. Er, no, I did not. Uh, what the heck? There we go, Dana. It is said that the monster withholds deep sorrow beneath its piercing look. When you get in touch with that sorrow, you will come to know what it is needed of you. That makes no sense, but okay. Let's uh, let's zoom in on you, because I, I still don't fully comprehend what I'm looking at here. I, I can spin you, but I can't zoom in for some reason. Okay, whatever. Didn't want to look at you anyway. Sour grapes. Mur, mur, mur. But why, why does my... Okay, I'm going to have to unplug and replug in my controller because the analog keeps turning off on me. Uh, everyone happy? Everyone doing okay? No exclamation marks? Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, I mean, I don't know why I'm still here. I may as well jump right into the, uh, right into the adventure. I'm sure everyone's fine. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's just go. Let's just, let's just go. All right, and we'll check. Yep, that's good. All right. Cool. Oh, my face. Okay, nukes, nightmare, and Cerberus. And as always, we go back, 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 back. That is obscene amounts of power and accuracy. All right. Um. Search item up. Oh yeah, I need to make. I need to make items. Is what I need to do. I said I don't use them, but it's because I don't have a whole lot of good ones. So I may as well, you know, try. Let's see. Intelligence, defense, initiative. That's fine. Intelligence up. Search item level up. Sure. Why not? Wear a green hat. Okay. Cave of Tukuyomi. It's kind of exciting being in a new dungeon. And I'm not just talking shit. Like, because of the way dungeon... Oh, I thought those were gravestones. Because of the way dungeons are in this game, I really get a thrill of exploring a new dungeon. It's fun. It's, it's an adventure. It makes me wonder where I'm going next and what it's going to look like. This place is awesome. And there's the genie jar right in front of us. So these are the cave of... That's not subject verb agreement. So these are the cave of Tukuyomi, huh? What a really odd place. Yeah, this is a special area of the village where most traces of the ancient civilization can still be seen. But there are monsters there. It's dangerous, so usually nobody is allowed in. We'd better stay focused. Uh-huh. All right, let's focus on kicking ass. All right, let's get a lay of the land before I run in like an idiot. That's not very useful, so thanks. Hello, weird genie guy. Welcome, welcome. This be the cave of the Tukuyomi. With these caverns is hidden a terrible secret. Discover it now for yourself. Sadly, I am required to stay where I am. I can move if I want to. All right, all right. We're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. All right, so that's nothing. Whoa, Shadow Man. Who are you, Mr. Shadow Man? 
Sup. That over there must be the first monster trainer. Wonder how strong he is. Not stronger than nukes. Ha 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 ha! I am a veteran of many, many battles! Let me, Baron Dottie, be your advisor. Dottie, how long have you been there? Never mind the little details. You were once my rival, but now my friend! My dearest, my greatest of friends! Oh, Jesus. Well, that's all very nice and everything, but... Could you keep it down a little, Dottie? Okay, you know what? Never mind. I am glad I'm voicing him like that, then. Hey! Is that some kind of heart-rendingly sad thing? heart rend heart rendingly sad thing to say? Uh, is that to you? Whoa, wait, whoa! Sad thing to say, is that to you? Alright, let me try that line again. Hey, is that... What kind of heart-rendingly sad thing to say is that to you, great friend and partner? Uh, okay, fine. I'm sorry. How about hurrying up and giving me some of that great advice of yours, then? Advisor. You got it! Here's another favorite principle of evil. No matter how many times you lose, win in the end. In other words, never give up! Huh. Kind of plain, but that's pretty good. What do you know? Guess you're not always a past. Plain, my partner? That's rather rude, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. Yes, let's. Let's let's let Nuke take control of the situation and end people. Um, are they all lined up? No. So I will need to do. Oh, wait, no, yeah, group attack. Okay, I can get two at once. All right, do it. Awesome. And now, finish them off. Nice. Three knockouts for nukes, bringing him up to 19, and those are wins 19, 19, and 1 for the team. Good job, everybody. Nocturna still hasn't, uh, been brought to the, uh, to the fight either. Oh, Kaelin's been long since sealed. I'm getting everybody mixed up. Alright! Now then, I hope you'll be noble about this and give us what we came here for! We're not doing this for our health, you know! Great. That takes care of the first one. Let's hurry on. Okay! Alright, let's... I mean, may as well, uh, explore everything. Nothing else that'll reveal the map for us. Whoa. Found something, buddy? Cool, thank you. Yeah, next time we're in town, we'll do all the items. Um. I guess. Or at least I'll turn in the recipes. I want to see what what's available. Because if we have any items that grace, gr uh, uh, greatly increase accuracy or power. I kind of want to get a hold of them so I can put them on nukes and nightmare. Just to kind of hedge my bets. Even if it is making them kind of one truck ponies. Whoa. Okay. Did I explore everything down below then? I thought I did. Oh, that's one of those weird rooms that's going to load or unload as necessary. Yeah, I guess I did. I explored everything down here because it would appear on the map. Yeah, the loading is really interesting in this game. It shouldn't be, but like... So games nowadays would do that loading in the background without having to fade out the game. But this game, for whatever reason they chose, does not do that. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Um, let's not go that way... Because that's progression, and I want to fully explore this place. Um, but yeah, so the loading the loading screens are the opposite of subtle. Like, the only thing that we don't see here when we transition to a different room is the word loading. But otherwise, it's the same thing, you know? Or, the same thing. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. So by the game. I'm distracted by the game. 
So, uh, all I was saying was that, like, the loading screens are blunt. They're, they're in your face. They're very blatant. It's very strange. It's an odd design decision, but whatever. It's intriguing, just because it's different. It's not good. It's not bad. It just is, you know? Anyway, we are going to... I'm going to reset my brain with drinking more root beer, and then we are going to continue destroying everything in this cave, because that's what nukes and nightmare do. They destroy everything they touch, because screw happiness from other monsters. Boy, that, uh... That was a little depressing. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode. <laughs>